Hey my friends, welcome back to the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck, and we are continuing our Alfred Hitchcock, uh, I like to call these um, reaction reviews, right? Uh, because yes, these are kind of hard to review because there's so many twists and turns in Alfred Hitchcock's films, at least the ones I've started to see so far. So, the next up on my list is Rope. Man, that stars um, uh, James Stewart, of course, and John Dahl and Farley Granger. And man, <laughs> I gotta talk to you guys about Rope, so stick around. Alright guys, before I dig into this reaction review for Rope, please do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, please hit like, subscribe, and smack that bell. Now, as a thank you, uh, let's talk about Rope. Alright, so, what can I say about Rope? Again, Hitchcock stuff, a lot of twists and turns, can't give too much away, so, uh, I will say, it is all shot like a play. It's, it's just, uh, the camera rolls, there's like 10 minutes uh, in, a, in a film magazine, right? Basically. So, he basically rolls for about 10 minutes at a time and looks for a place to cut. And it's not super creative. Like the first time he did it, like the, the, they're acting and he's, and he's doing this thing with the rope and then the camera goes around to his back and it sort of goes into his back, like his jacket, because his jacket's kind of dark blue. And then it pulls back out and that's where you make the cut. That's where the edit is. And then you pull back out and the new cartridge, the new film uh, canister is, is activated and then you start filming for another 10 more minutes. But then, like, every time he, he's doing a cut, he goes in on somebody's back. <laughs> so it is sort of, like, absurd that, like, oh, there he goes! Like, by the time he's, it's the fifth time, you're like, there's the guy's back, he's going in! So, uh, but uh, let me tell you, though, it, it, d despite that, because there are other ways of, as an editor, I know you can hide edits, you know, you can, you can do a whip pan, like, you could swish the camera, and as you're swishing, you make the, the cut in the swish, and you can point the camera at another actor on the other side of the room. But he didn't do that, because I found out why. Uh, the color cameras are enormous! I, I, I'm watching the behind the scenes of each film after I watch the film. Uh, because I'm just, I'm that into them, y'all. I'm just so pumped. Uh, and this, no lie, I mean, this thing looks like a stove. That, like, that huge is the color camera. And the fact that Hitchcock is manipulating this camera around this set on dollies, cranes, wheels, what have you, and without, like, killing people is a miracle because that I, I just could not believe how enormous that camera was so uh, and, and he did he dollies right up to people and he'll, he'll go into another room and go around a corner and and I was learning that all the time that this is happening set pieces are being pulled out of the way walls are being removed walls are being put up also that that when that camera makes a turn like it still looks like you're inside a room it's absolutely fascinating. It was so good. And as an actor, I mean, the pressure, when, when Hitchcock says action, you're going for 10 minutes or until that film can runs out uh, and you can't miss a beat. Like you can't miss your lines at all. So the actors have to be 100% on point and the camera operator, I don't know if Hitch was the, the actual operator, but he certainly was probably sitting on the dolly or maybe there was a feed to a camera that he could see. But the camera cannot make a mistake. So you can't bump into something and knock something over. Or you can't like have the camera go er, at the last second. So every, things like that kind of like get me nervous when I watch it. Like as a filmmaker, I'm like, that is like the most stressful way to shoot. Because you can't just go, oh, I, I bumped, but that's okay, because we'll, we'll cut to the cutaway of this actor, and I'll just start again on his reaction, and it'll be, it'll be, you can do a pickup like that. Like, it's easy to fix. So, um, that is how rope is shot. So, just the, the sheer beauty of shooting a play, but it's a film. I mean, it's, I, I love that too. Like, this is, this is the second film, and I'm already like, like totally into it. Uh, and the two leads are fantastic. Uh, you're also not told that they could be gay, right? The two characters are homosexuals, but they didn't say that or touch on that subject matter back in the day. They called it it. So if you were gay back then, you're it. And so you can't talk about it, but that is what this was. And so the question is, uh, and James Stewart was a teacher of theirs that sort of taught them bizarre things like, like murder could be considered okay. Like, they literally have a conversation in the film, why murder is okay. And it's kind of a fascinating discussion. It's literally like if you talk to somebody and go, well, why do you think murder would be 
acceptable. Well, let me tell you what I think. I think murder would be okay if, and then you just start having a, a dialogue. And so that's, so he's kind of like their inspiration. Like the whole, the whole um, launching point for this is these two guys commit a murder. That's what the whole film is about. And then it's from that point, how do they get away with it? And, and it's just, and you're sweating it out the whole time. Uh, I don't want to tell you anymore. I don't want to tell you what's going on, what's in it. Just, it just, it's, it's like, that's the premise. These two guys, kind of inspired by this older teacher, commit a murder. And, they, and, and just, oh, it's so good. And then all these other characters kind of come and go. It's treated as like this sort of a, a party that they're all coming to be at and interact. And it's just, oh, it was good, y'all. I mean, I, I didn't know anything about Rope, really. I didn't know that's what it was about. I didn't know the, 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 the subject matter. It's just, oh, it's so good. So, yeah, there you go. That I'm just going to stop right there. If you have not seen Rope, it is, like, uh, so far, I'm, I'm two in, and I can't wait to finish and then watch them all again. Uh, and, and if you do, pick up the set, and I highly encourage it. It's because they have all these great bonus features on each of these discs, and it's really great learning about the film and what what went into making that film uh, right after you see it. And so it's so good. So, right, that is going to do it. I'm two down, y'all. That is my second Hitchcock review. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, please do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified the next time I do my next Hitchcock reaction review. All right, guys, that is going to do it for now. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Until next time, I'll catch you later.